Hello my dear students welcome to today's class what we have said in our last class do you remember that in last class we have studied about different types of plants around us isn't it we have studied about parasites saprophytes epiphytes etc there are another type plants also in today's class we are going to study more about different types of plants are you ready for that now if you look at this picture this is a vegetable garden do you have a vegetable garden in your home which are the common vegetables that we are planting in vegetable gardens can you give me some examples pumpkin will be there bitter gourd ash gourd snake gourd tomato chilli etc so when we are observing different plants in our vegetable garden we can see that some plants will be there they will spread in ground and grows on that ground itself some plants are there they will spread on the ground and grow on the ground itself then some other types of plants are there they will climb on another plant with the help of some spring like structures isn't it so first of all we are studying about these two types of plants climbers and creepers climbers and creepers let me write the terms here we are going to study about climbers and creepers so climbers are weak stemmed plants their stems will be very weak so they cannot stand properly so climbers are weak stemmed plants they grow on another plants with the support of tendrils or clinging roots here is the picture of tendrils tendrils are the spring like structure that we can observe in climbers so can you give some examples for climbers there are many types of climbers around us yes bitter gourd ash gourd etc then in some climbers we can see tendrils and some other climbers are having another type of root that is known as clinging roots here is the example of a climber which have clinging root pepper vine is a climber which have clinging root so have you got an idea about climber climbers are weak stemmed plants they grow on another plants with the support of tendrils or clinging roots the climbers will have tendrils or clinging roots these tendrils or clinging roots will help to attach on other plants is it clear then the examples for climbers are bitter gourd pepper vine ash gourd snake gourd etc so climbers are weak stemmed plants they grow on other plants with the help of tendrils or clinging roots is it clear then we have to study about creepers creepers are another weak stemmed plants they spread on the ground and they will grow on that ground itself creepers are weak stemmed plants they creep on ground that is why we are calling them creepers can you give some examples for creepers here is the examples for creepers which are the examples for creepers sweet potato strawberry hydrocotyl etc here creepers also weak some the plants but they are creeping on the ground itself but climbers are climbs on another plants they will have tendrils or clinging roots to attach on other plants is it clear so first we have studied about two types of plants around us they are climbers and creepers climbers are weak stemmed plants they grow on other plants with the support of tendrils or clinging roots then creepers are other group of weak stemmed plants 
they creeps on ground that's why we are calling them as creepers is it clear so i am giving an activity you have to find more examples for climbers and creepers are you ready then we have to move on to the next topic there are some specialities in roots also all if you look at these pictures this picture shows a banyan tree and a scrub pine tree can you see any speciality in the roots of these two trees yes here you can see in both these trees roots are there out of the soil isn't it actually what is the function of root roots are helping the plants to absorb water and nutrients from the soil isn't it but in some plants roots are helping the plants by providing support so in banyan tree and scrub pine tree we can see different roots they can be observed above the soil isn't it can you observe any differences in both these pictures yes in banyan tree the roots are growing downwards from the branches isn't it in banyan tree the roots are the they growing downwards from the branches such type of roots are called as prop roots so next term we are going to study is prop roots so prop roots are special type of roots they can be observed out of the soil then they are arising from branches the example is banyan tree we can see prop roots in banyan tree then in this picture in scrub pine tree we can see another type of roots they also can be observed from outside the soil isn't it here the roots are growing from the main stem isn't it so here the external roots are growing from the main stem such type of roots are called as stint root so these are two different types of roots that we can observe above the soil prop root and stilt root what is the difference between prop root and stilt root in prop root the prop roots are arising from a tree from the branch but in stilt root stilt roots are arising from the main stem of a plant then examples for prop roots is banyan tree and stilt root can be observed in scrub pine tree both these two types of roots are helps to provide support for the plant is it clear commonly the roots are helping the plant to absorb the water and nutrients from the soil but here these prop root and stilt roots are helping the plant to provide support so that's all about prop root and stilt root then there are another speciality also then we have to study another type of a root that we can observe in mangroves do you see mangroves earlier this picture shows mangrove plants mangroves are special types of plants that we can observe in marshy areas these mangroves are having special types of roots the in mangroves the tip of their roots will grow towards the atmosphere then these roots will help in gaseous exchange such type of a root is called nematophore so nematophore is another type of root that we can observe in mangrove plants here the tip of their root will grow towards the atmosphere then here the root is helps the plant to exchange the gases such type of a root is called as nematophore so that is a, another term that we are studying here nematophore then nematophores are another special type of roots 
they are growing towards the atmosphere then they helps the plant for exchanging the gases then here example for pneumatophores roots is mangroves so we have to read about different types of roots they are prop root tilt root and pneumatophores is it clear then there are some other specialties also plants are having different types of specialities do you like tapioca actually tapioca is the root of that plant can you believe it tapioca is the root of that plant here the food prepared by the plant is storing in the roots then that is what tapioca and we are having the tapioca here the plants they are storing their food in roots are called as storage roots example for storage root is tapioca then some other plants are there they are storing their food in stems some plants are storing their food in their roots such roots are called as storage roots and some other plants are the they are storing their food in stems such stems can be seen below the soil are called as underground stems example for storage root is tapioca and potato is an example for underground stem so how can we differentiate between underground stem and storage root how can we identify a tuber which is underground stem or storage root that is when we are keeping that tuber for some days if some buds are forming in that tuber that comes under the group of underground stems if you are keeping tapioca for some some days there will not be any change in that there will not be any new buds in tapioca but if you are keeping potato for some days in our home we can see that some new buds are forming in that potato isn't it so now we can understand which one is storage root and which one is underground stem if you are keeping the tuber for some days if if new buds are forming in that tuber that will be underground stem and if there is no buds are forming in the tuber that comes under the group of storage root in this method we can identify storage root and underground stem is it clear then you have to find more examples for storage root and underground stem so we can understand that there are many specialities in plants isn't it not only that plants are helping us in many ways isn't it plants are providing different helps for us let me conclude all the things we have discussed in today's class first of all we also did about climbers and creepers climbers are weak stemmed plants they are grows on another plants by the support of tendrils or clinging roots then creepers are another weak stemmed plants they are spreading in the ground and grows in the ground itself you have to study the examples for both climbers and creepers then we studied about prop root stilt root and pneumatophores prop roots are the external roots that are arising from branches example is banyan tree then stilt root is a special type of root that are arising from the main stem of a plant example is screw pine then we studied about pneumatophores pneumatophores also another special type of root can be observed in mangrove plants here the tip of the roots are grows towards the atmosphere and they are helping the plants to exchange the gases then we studied about storage root and underground stem storage roots are the roots in which the plant is storing their food in roots example is tapioca then underground stems are 
in tubers some tubers are storing their food in the stems then that stems can be seen below the soil such type of stems are called underground stem i think you have understood all the things we have discussed in today's class don't forget about the activities i have given so that's all for today thank you